We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Boston Red Sox and the Toronto Blue Jays. Going to be an interesting contrast in styles in this one as one of baseball's hardest throwers goes head to head with a top finesse arm. Next, Hyunjin Ryu gets the starting assignment in this one for the Jays. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, we're getting a look at a real competitive pitcher here. Career ERA in the low threes, and that's not an easy thing to do in the day and age of small ballparks and guys swinging for the fences. Rock solid pitcher, does a lot of things well, and it'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. Next up for the Red Sox, Alex Verdugo. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Underway here in the Monday opener as the game's first pitch misses for ball one. Well, guys, as the Jays take the field here tonight, well, they come in fresh off a victory last time out, but they've had a rough go of it of late as they've lost seven of their last nine games. Yeah, Matty, a lot of things trending in the right direction for this team. They won their last game. They scored a bunch of runs, and let's see if they continue that today. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately. And it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher. Just go ahead and challenge him. Two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter. And this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's three and one now. Fouled away. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. In comes Fisher. He can't get to it. This one's down. I know in today's game, everybody's trying to go yard. But can you look at having a better at bat? As a leadoff hitter, you take yep. it full count, you make the pitcher work, and then you come through with a knock. Great start. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Guriel will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. That is hard. The designated hitter. Now the Red Sox DH J.D. Martinez first at bat for him as he enters play third in the American League batting race one of the best hitters in baseball and he does it with some damage too. lots of extra base hits he's in the top five in the league in slugging percentage as well from the stretch hey. and there are our umpires for this one working the plate is Dave Lawrence. Damn, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah, d -Rod, one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner, especially with left-handed batters. Verdugo, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And it's one and two. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Guriel is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So here's the cleanup hitter, Xander Bogarts, one of the better hitters in the league this year, currently seventh in the American League in hitting. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. From the belt, the pitch up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. 
Richard is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One left for the Red Sox. Red Sox nothing. Blue Jays coming to bat. Major League Baseball on the show. Chris Sale is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Boston. Dan, any thoughts? This guy's having a real solid season up to this point. And I know he'd like to get one more notch in his belt to get that 200 K's on the season. He's awfully close. So you'd have to think in the back of his mind he'd like to punch out a few here and get into that 200 K club for the year. So digging in now Bo Bichette. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here it comes. And there's a line drive base hit to left field. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base hit. To the plate now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come into this one looking to make amends for a loss last time out that put an end to a seven-game winning streak. Yeah, Matty. Dan, this team is playing well. They're getting closer in the division race. I, I guess my question to you, I, I want to okay. ask you, did you find that you started to really pitch better as the summer months started to get hotter? No doubt about it. Not only does the team start feeling better, but I think you get a good vibe starting to go throughout the clubhouse. You realize that the, the schedule is trying, starting to wind itself down. Every game is more important. The bigger the game, hopefully the better you play. And this team's been playing some really good baseball lately. And this one's in the dirt. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two from the belt kicks and deals I got to two and two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. So now to the plate, Lourdes Gurriel, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. The set and the 1 0 pitch. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. Runners on first with one down. There's a foul ball off to the right side, and that'll move the count to one and two. MVP, MVP, MVP. And that misses <laughs> two and two. Check on first by Sale, and a dive, but he's back in. Slider gets him swinging two gone. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine K's, and now he's looking like he can put up similar numbers in this one. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. He's entering play in this one, a home run shy of 20 for the season. Sale sets. 0-1 oh, on its way. One ball, one There's one that misses high. It's 1-1. One and one. Ah. 
strike. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Nothing in the Toronto first. We'll go to the second from Rogers Center with no score. Riding in for Boston, Kevin Pillar. He enters play hitting in the 260s for the year. Here comes the first pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. High chopper to third, scooped up. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. That is fifth. The first baseman, Jesus Aguilar. Into the box now, Jesus Aguilar. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. First offering on its way. No score here as we play inning number two. Well, fans of the art of pitching are in for a treat. One of the game's big time flamethrowers faces a top craftsman here today. And you're going to see two different mindsets from both offenses, Dan. Facing the power guy, he's going to come at you. He's going to pitch to his strengths and not your weakness. And on the flip side, the finesse guy is going to try and keep everyone off balance. And I want to see what off-speed pitch he has working. You know, Dero, that's one of the beautiful things about the game of baseball. Good pitchers come in all different shapes and sizes, and they come with all different type of weapons. We're going to see one flamethrower and one guy that throws below the speed limit. Fisher calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. At the plate, Christian Vasquez. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Vasquez, a native of Puerto Rico. He was a ninth round pick during the 2008 draft. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. One and two to the Red Sox catcher. Ooh, that's a good pitch to take a hack at right there. Change up up in the zone. Eh, he'd like to have that one back. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Good job to lay off that one-two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. Here now the 2 2. Two out, nobody on. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two out base runner here after all. Digging in, Tyrone Taylor. Taylor. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Nope. Ball one. A runner on first with two away. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. 
Coming to the plate now, Michael Chavis. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. He's set. Here it comes. That one doesn't even sniff the zone, missing very high. Two men are on with two men out. Look out, 2 0 oh now. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down and away or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the heart of the plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. And that's in there, 2 and 1. Hit on the ground to third. And the throw to first will be in time, so the Red Sox come up empty, and the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. Stepping in for the Jays, Travis Shaw, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. I tried to hold back on that pitch outside, but went around for strike one. Sale, a native Floridian. He's an 11 year vet at the major league level, so he certainly put together a nice career in professional baseball. Yeah, Maddie, you ain't kidding right there. Ten years, we refer to that in the biz as hitting full pension. A ball and a strike now. To short. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey, you know what? You could slowly start to see that batter leak out over the plate. That was three straight pitches on the outer half, and he was able to dive out there and get an opposite field single. Nice job. Next to bat for Toronto, Randall Gritcher, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Set and the pitch. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. This is line to left. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Hey, two runners on after back-to-back -back singles right there. They are in prime position to put the first run on the board right here. Brandon Drury will bat next. Grounded down the third baseline. Well, this is foul for the first strike. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit one and two. He's a veteran out on that mound. He understands he has to establish that inside fastball to open up the outer half of the plate. Here comes the one two from Sale. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already and there's your first out. Digging in now Danny Jansen. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. First offering on its way. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Bottom of the second here with no score. A 
bouncer up the middle to second for one relayed to Aguilar the double play and that retires the side so they pick up no runs on two base hits no errors and one man left on we played two full and we are tied nothing nothing and the next up will be Alex Verdugo first pitch coming here it is Rounded back up the middle. Bichette's got it. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. And with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play. One gone here in the Boston third. And that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. First pitch on its way. Swing and a looper to left. In comes the left fielder. Lays out and he's got it. A great play for route number two. Taking another look at it, the ball has some topspin on it, but he's on the full run and dives to make the catch. Nice defensive play right there. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. And that changeup makes him jump. A swing and a miss. Bases are empty here with two men out. Slap hard the opposite way. Richard is there and they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. Red Sox go down one two three. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And digging in is the outfielder Derek Fisher. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And the shift will not amount to much here as this is lifted in the air out to right field. Taylor is there. One pitch, one out. First pitch on its way. Bo Bichette stands in as he looks at ball one here. The 1-0. Is laid off for ball two. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is on deck. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. It only helps him out there. It's three and one. And he fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. Little chopper back to the mound. And there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings up the big bat of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Sale has his target. First pitch on the way. out nobody on pulled high in the air out to left field Verdugo waits on it and that retires the side nothing across here this half three innings complete and we are tied nothing nothing and that brings in Xander Bogarts this game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 
Ball one, no strike. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. And this will get all the way to the wall now. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Dan, after that base hit, he's extended his hit streak to nine games, and you know he wants double digits. Oh, there's no question about it. Listen, anybody can get a nine-game hitting streak, but when you call your buddies or send out a text message and say, hey, I'm about in double digits, so nine games is nothing to sneeze at, but he'd love to get it to ten. Here's the first pitch to him. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. That's by him for strike one. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Sliced hard on the ground. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. I mean, you want to talk about doing your job and getting paid for it. There it is right there. Unselfish A.B. trying to work his guy from second to third. And, oh, what do you know? Knock for yourself. Into the box now, Jesus Aguilar as he rips it on the ground to second. And a base hit as the run will come in to score, and that gives the Red Sox a 1-0 lead. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Where we get that base hit to give your team the lead, you have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. In now, Christian Vasquez as he lifts it in the air to right field. Richard is there to put it away for route number one. And the throw from right will not be in time as he takes third on the flyout. All right, so time now for the Blue Jays' road to the show report as we see a couple of prospects performing at high levels in the upper minors. At the plate, Tyrone Taylor oh, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 0. He'll enter play down at an even 240 for the year. Six home runs and 22 RBIs. The 1 0 misses ball two. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Now the 2-0 down the third baseline, but a foul ball, and it's 2-1 and one now. With one out and runners on the corner, some managers like to hit and run here. It's a little risky, but it can help you stay out of the double play if it's well executed. Now the 2-1 pitch is swung on and missed for strike number two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout, or are you still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to induce the ground ball to get a double play. The 2 2 hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Another try at 2 2. Fastball well outside. Michael Chavis waits on deck. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Oh, that grounder caught him. Safe after the recovery throw. 
good effort, but now we have to wonder whether or not he's going to be okay. And with that play over now, time to check and see if our man is all right. You can really see him favoring that leg. And that is his plant leg, which is always a concern. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay to try and continue. So here's Michael Chavis now as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Chavis, a native of Georgia. He's a second year big leaguer. Strike swinging chased a high one there. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Here's the 0 and 2. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here 1 and 2. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. The 1 2. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Two runs, five hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Ready for another chance? Alex Verdugo. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. First pitch of the at bat. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. The 1 0 home is outside for a ball. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later. So forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. The 2 0. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on four base hits, no errors, and a couple of men left on. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Boston's out in front, two to nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that brings up the exciting Lourdes Guriel Jr. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one, only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. One and oh, the count. Now here's the pitch. Line to the right side. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter to Oscar Hernandez. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Maddie. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Expect the guy on the mound to keep attacking the zone. He wants a quick inning so he won't be nibbling. And he misses with it one and one. No runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. At strike two, a place change up around the knees. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And it's a full count, three and two to the Blue Jays' DH. And this is where he's especially dangerous because if you walk him, he can steal a base on you. But if you lay a fastball in there, he can take you deep, too. Softly hit to short. Gonna be a tough play. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Riding in once again, Travis Shaw, one for one after a single his first time up. Sale gets the sign and delivers. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. Oh, 
hit back up the middle. Devers fields it cleanly. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Blue Jays go down in order. They're down two to nothing. Here now is Rafael Devers. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. Oh, one's the count. And it's fouled away. Here comes Ryu 0 and 2. This is on the ground over to first. And this gets through into right, so he turns the 0 and 2 count into a leadoff base hit. That was actually a well executed fastball in to in off the plate. Credit the offensive player. He smelled that coming, turned and burned. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. Well, now that we're midway through this one, it's safe to say that runs have been at a premium, and both starters doing it in different ways have turned in excellent performances. Nope. Dan, you can speak to this. Obviously, two different ways to skin a cat. One's a finesse guy working all four quadrants, keeping guys off balance. The other, a flamethrower coming right at you. It's been a story of, like, two different styles of pitching. And that is through into left field, a base hit. This is the cat and mouse of baseball right here. Batter versus pitcher. You fight so hard as an offensive player to get count leverage. 1-0, 2-0, 3-1. Check out the batting averages in those counts. And then check out the batting averages in even and behind counts with two strikes. 2-0, your eyes light up, and that batter didn't miss it. Here's Xander Bogarts now. And he'll take a changeup here for strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. One pitch. Nope. Off speed pitch here, but it dips below the knees, evening us at one and one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. First and second here with nobody out. One and two to the Boston shortstop. Clearly wasn't ready for the fastball because it was pretty much center cut and he couldn't pull the trigger. Might have been looking for another curve. The one two he swung on and missed strike three fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around according to the umpire sometimes it can be really tough for these big strong guys because once they're committed to swinging it's hard for them to slow their swings down and that appeared to be the case there from the stretch here's the pitch swing line drive that's going to be trouble. The second run will score. It's now a 4 nothing game. Good hitting is contagious. We all know that. He saw his buddies get some good swings earlier in the inning, and he does just the same, driving in two more here. The guy in the bump has got to find a way to get some outs, or he's going to be gone in a hurry. So now the Jays manager will make his way out toward the mound, and that will be the last we see in this one of Hunjin Ryu. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Thomas Pannone, a lefty standing six foot even, takes over the pitching duties here. Late now, Jesus Aguilar, as he'll take a look at ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. One-o -oh count. Here it is. 
2 and 0. Oh. The gnome features one of the biggest yakkers in the game. Curveball's got a ton of movement. Now the 2 0 -oh home. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. Oh. From the belt the pitch and he misses ball four so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces so runners at first and second here with one away and from the on deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez he comes set here's the nothing and nothing pitch Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Runners are at first and second with one away. Outside, 3 and 0 oh now. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news a single probably drives in a couple of runs. Settling in now, Tyrone Taylor. First pitch on its way. Fouled off. Still only one out in the inning. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Hey, this is a monster strikeout situation right here. A double play would be great in this situation, but I know he's going for the K. You get a one two count on a guy, he's going to throw his nastiest stuff. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. One of the big advantages to pitching ahead in a count if you're a pitcher, because you have to cover both pitches if you're a hitter. You have to cover the off speed and the fastball. In a one two count, you might be sitting off speed, and what happens? He gets the fastball, and he can't catch up to the express. To the plate now, Michael Chavis. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Against left handed pitching so far this season, Chavis is hitting exactly 200. Not really what you'd call a point of pride for him. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. Two out, bases loaded. Heading out towards shallow right. Richard is there and he puts it away as they're able to escape with only limited damage on the scoreboard. So they wind up with two in the inning but it could have been a lot worse as they leave the bases loaded. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Red Sox are out in front four to nothing. And back now here at Rogers Center and here's Heidi. Thanks Matt. In between innings I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at bats right now. A lot of their outs have come from weak contact and strikeouts as a result of chasing pitches outside the strike zone. He said it's going to be extremely important for them going forward to be more selective with their swings and force the opposition to throw more strikes. Thank you, Heidi. Randall Grichik at the plate now. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. 
Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. Here it comes. Line to the right side. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. The second baseman. So the base is empty here with one away. And into bat next, it'll be Brandon Drury. First pitch of the at bat. And a ball, 1 0. Fouled away. The 1 1. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. Popped him up. Vasquez over to his right. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Up next is Danny Jansen, and then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and there it goes. Deep to left. No chance at bringing this one back. And that one is gone. A solo shot here to left. Third home run for him on the year. As they get on the board, it's four to one now. They're still down, but this homer right there might light a fire under the whole team. Give them a spark to climb back into this thing. We'll see if this gets them going. Derek Fisher, the next to bat. Lays off 1 0. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Swing and a little blooper to center. Bogarts trying to get there. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Back to the top of the order now. And into bat next, the legacy Bo Bichette. Taken just off the inside. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And this winds up inside for a ball. 2-0 and now. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning. Because if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate. And that usually means damage done. The 2 0. 3 and 0 now. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. And a 
good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four and as a result that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away as the pitching coach heads out to the mound I think this is probably just a case of giving your guy a chance to catch his breath pump him up a little bit let him know that he's got it under control coming to the plate now Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Looking to minimize the damage here. A ball and a strike. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. You know, he was really pounding the strike zone early on, but he's kind of gotten away from that here a bit. He might just need a little reminder to attack hitters and trust his stuff. set and the 2 1 pitch Whoa, three and one here you have to make a good pitch on the mound grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it popped up Devers is there for it and the inning is over some more of the Colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. So the Red Sox lineup turns over Verdugo and to the plate, Alex Verdugo. He flew out in his last at bat. Alex Verdugo. First pitch of the at bat. Hey. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. That's popped up. Bichette into shallow left, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Into the box, Rafael Devers. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. for ball one. Sixth inning. Four to one is our score. And yeah, that one misses badly. It's ball two. Unable to get the bat around in time and the count evens at two and two. And another foul ball. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And it's fouled away. Three and two, the count for Rafael Devers. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Fisher will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Here's J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez.
First pitch on its way. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Gone! Two run shot to straight away center. Number 25 for him on the year, and it's now a six to one ball game. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Into the box now, Xander Bogarts. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Count now a ball and a strike. The 1-1 one, one home. A swing and a ground ball to third. Reined in. And that's the second out. The center field, number five. Now at the plate, Kevin, Kevin Pillar. Who drove in two runs on a double in his last at bat. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hit to first. Shaw has it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So the Red Sox strike for two on the two run homer. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's now six to one, Boston. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and stepping in the long ball threat, Lourdes Gurriel. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. 0 2 count. You could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Drilled to the left side. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Well, there's a case, not that bad of a pitch, 0-2 D-Roll, but something he'd like to get down and bury in the strike zone, no doubt about it. Yeah, ground ball with eyes right there. Nice job by the offensive player, just, just to battle. 0-2 is a tough spot to be in, he battled. Oscar Hernandez digging in now as he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center. Pilar is right there, one down. Stepping in, Travis Shaw, a hit in two tries so far. First offering on its way. A ball and no strikes. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. The 1 0. Side three and oh now. From the belt, the pitch, there's ball four. Here's Randall Richard. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A-B. He hit that ball on the screws. First pitch on its way. Well, the 
Blue Jays have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. They're hoping they get it right now. This would sure be a good time. Here's the 0 1. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0 2. The numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. First and second now, one man out. Well below the knees, laid off on the change up there. The 2 2. On the ground is short. This could be two. The second for one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. And kids, this is where you always go hard in the second base. Could have been an easy double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time. Digging in, Brendan Drury, and their runners at the corners now. Here's the first pitch to him. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Runners on first and third, two away. That misses one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0 and 2 now to 2 and 2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Blue Jays leave a pair. The lead remains five. It's six to one. Welcome back. Here's Heidi Watney with the report as we get set for the top of the seventh. Heidi. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager, and he was very pleased with how little they're swinging and missing right now. He said it's been quite a show that they put on at the plate today, and not just in terms of hits and runs. Yes, they have a ton of hits, but they've also only struck out two times. That's a rarity in the sport these days, but it also seems to be a winning formula. Thank you, Heidi. Moving off the ball. Into the box, Jesus Aguilar. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch coming, here it is. And he takes this one high, one and one. One and one. Hey. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. He dropped that curveball in for a strike right there. But don't kid yourself, that's a dangerous pitch. He needs to start thinking about maybe working that back door, or that could get some serious damage done to it. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Not your normal put away pitch a two strike fastball down in the zone but he was able to get wood on it and foul it away a bouncer up the middle and the throw to first is in time so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven digging in once again Christian Vasquez a couple of walks for him thus far ready to deliver here's the first pitch. One. 
And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Full count three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit in the air out to right. Right fielder is on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. How about it? The right fielder. Stepping in and Tyrone. ready for another shot. Tyrone Taylor. He went down on strikes last time up. First pitch of the at bat. Pitch is popped up. Sean is there and the side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox. They hold on to their six to one lead. Last half of the seventh here and next to hit is the catcher Danny Jansen. Going back to that last A.B., that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off-speed pitches. One ball, no strikes to count. And this is a fastball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2-0 now. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Now the pitch. Even count two balls and two strikes. Here now the two two. Is a swing and a miss that's strike three. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout. He fell behind two and oh to start the at bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. So now to the plate, Derek Fisher, as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. We're moving along into the later innings, and this guy's throwing over 60% of his first pitches for strikes. He'd like to do a little bit more, but so far, so good. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. One ball. He wasn't strikes. even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Bases are empty. One man out. And that's going to be high. Two and two now. Swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really Battle sharp back. out there, guys. Stop. In now, Bo Bichette. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. One. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Onto the bag with it is Aguilar, and that'll retire the side. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. They trail six to one.
Anthony Bass has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 52. Ready to begin the eighth, and Michael Chavis will step in at the plate. Here comes the first pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Line towards center field. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead red piece of cheese middle of the plate, and he didn't miss it. Stepping in now, Alex Verdugo. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. It's so important, Mark, to start to make quality pitches. And if you don't, this is what can happen. Two batters, two base hits, first and third, nobody out. Yeah, and you just got to prepare yourself as an offensive player. You're just trying to get the runner in from third. You can't worry about creating a monster inning. Do your job. At the plate now, Rafael Devers. Fielded cleanly, uh, but the feet of the second baseman is a wild one. And the runner is in to score from third on what was not a good throw at all. Ready to take his hacks again, J.D. Martinez, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And a strike called at the letters. Looked high to me, but it's nothing in one. One pitch heading out towards shallow right. Richard has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Xander Bogarts. In prior meetings against Anthony Bass, he's one for three. First pitch on its way. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. With runners in scoring position this season, Bogarts is hitting over 350 up in the high 300s. These are the stats the oppositions look at, being great with runners in scoring position. He has certainly been that, and he's able to slow the moment down. Hit down the line at first, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him. Striding in, Kevin Pilar. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Looking to minimize the damage here. And a bit too high with that one. It's one and zero. Oh. Two down, runners at first and second. Right on the inside, Black taken for a called strike. Got him reaching there, strike two. Fouled off. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Red Sox settle for just the one. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Red Sox on top, seven to one. Into the box now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. 
and he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Well, Fastball just misses. That's ball yeah, one. One and two. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Pitching 101 is changing location and upsetting the hitter's timing. You do that, and everything's going to be fine. In that strikeout, he never threw the same pitch twice in a row, and he won the battle because of it. Into the box, Lourdes Guriel. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. A wind up and the 0 1. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. Hey guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock in the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. Into the box now to Oscar Hernandez. Nope. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1-0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's velo is still top notch. This guy's a horse. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. The 2 2. Fernandez connects and sends it to deep left. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. Here's a shot to left field and deep. And gone up into the second deck. It's a two run shot to straight away left and even 20 home runs for him now thus far as it's now a 7-3 game. Well this is what makes this guy so hard to pitch to. He has that rare combination of speed and power. You don't want to walk him and have him get on first base. So what happens, you throw him a strike, and he can hit the ball all the ballpark like he did just there. The bigging in next will be Travis Shaw. Yes, he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. He's one for two in this one. Ball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. One out, nobody on. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Now in the box, Randall Richard. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. First pitch on its way. 
And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Hit in the air out to center field. Pilar's there. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Jays strike for a couple as you get another look at the two run dinger. Ninth inning straight ahead. It's now seven to three. Justin Miller enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one and up next will be the power hitting first baseman Big Jesus Aguilar. From the stretch. 0 oh, and 1 the count. Aye. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. And now the Blue Jays get a left hander up and throwing in their bullpen. He misses with a fastball. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away, but that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The 2 2 one more time. Hot shot on the ground is short. Bichette gathers it in. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. So striding in, Christian Vasquez. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Here comes the first pitch. The 0 1 on its way. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. To two balls and two strikes now. Bases are empty, one man out. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 oh and 2, started nipping at the corners, and next thing you know, this count stands at three and two. Count remains full. And a swing and a miss here, and the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. Now that Mike Gilbert. So stepping Tyrone. in, Tyrone Taylor. Taylor. First offering on its way. Whoa, that's up there. Two out, nobody on. And wow, a very high strike, but a strike nonetheless, and it's one and one. Now the pitch. Count is two and one.
Yep, that ball went out. Michael Chavis would be next. The three and one pitch. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two out base runner. In now, Michael Chavis. He singled his last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Two mid 90s fastballs right there that he doesn't seem to think he can catch up to. I wouldn't be shocked if he came right at him again with another good one. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0 2 pitch. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Red Sox leave one. But they lead it by four. It's seven to three. John Gant, a right handed reliever standing six three, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. John Gant. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. And into bat next, it'll be Brandon Drury. First pitch coming, here it is. Swing and a miss that time, it's 0-1. And even one and one count to Brandon Drury. Fastball is swung on and missed. He's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more. You cannot expect to make solid contact chasing stuff outside the zone. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Brendan Drury is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. And there are the final numbers for the Boston starter. And he was really in command on the mound throughout the evening. Yeah, he looked really dialed in from start to finish. This is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out there. So I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Soft liner to the left side. And plenty of time over there at third to get a glove up, and there are two down. Now to the plate, Derek Fisher. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And now the Red Sox will get a left hander up and throwing in the bullpen. And he lays off a fastball here that looked pretty good, but it's 2-0. Two, two outs here, and the focus needs to stay sharp. You don't want that lineup turning over in an inning if you can help it. And he's way off balance with the swing there. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Final strike for the Blue Jays. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. And tonight's final, 7-3. to three. Boston took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Chris Sale earns his team-leading 11th win as he turns in eight strong innings of work. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.